I mean, sure, you might not get to blow things up in RL like the US military does with their unmanned aircraft, but if simply flying things around for the fun of it sounds good to you, you may just want to look into picking up a consumer drone, a product category that has enjoyed a huge surge in popularity recently. But what exactly is a drone? How exactly do drones work and what do you need to know before taking off? We'll start by fixing your terminology. Although the words are often used interchangeably, most of the drones that you see on the market are actually just quadcopters. And as that name suggests, that means that they have four spinning rotors arranged in a square or diamond pattern. Now quadcopters work by varying how fast each individual rotor is spinning. So if all the blades are spinning at the same speed, then it'll either go straight up or down or just hang in the air in one spot. But when some of the blades are told by an onboard controller to rotate faster than others, it can cause the drone or quad to dive, bank, strafe, or even do stunts, like flips. But while most drones function fairly similarly due to the actual physics of the usual four rotor arrangement, they certainly aren't all created equal. And you can get anything from tiny, low powered quads for beginners for under $50 to heavy duty drones with powerful batteries and crystal clear cameras that will run you over a thousand dollars and could probably take over Luxembourg if you had enough of them. But let's say that that's not your goal, or I mean, who knows, maybe it is. How do you show shop for a drone. What exactly should you be looking for? That all depends on what capabilities you require, your flying and technical skills, and of course, your budget. There are plenty of ready to fly or RTF drones that come fully assembled and include a handheld remote transmitter. Just charge up the battery and you're pretty much ready to rock. Cheaper models will typically not fly as long on a single charge thanks to their low capacity batteries with some lasting as little as five minutes or so and usually feature very low quality quality cameras if they have one at all. As you go up the price ladder, you'll find drones that can fly around half an hour on just a single charge with cameras that can capture great looking stabilized HD video. Other features might include longer range, the ability to mount your own camera with GoPros being a popular choice, but some even accepting popular DSLR cameras, the ability to live stream video directly to a smartphone or tablet for first person control, or even the ability to use the aforementioned tablet or other device to control the drone's flight, but pre-builts aren't for everyone, and if you're a tinkerer, the drone hobbyist community might be what you are after. There are a number of build-it-yourself drone kits available in many different price ranges, as well as individual parts that you can buy, such as high-capacity batteries, advanced remote transmitters, and even autopilots that turn a quadcopter into an actual bonafide self-piloting drone. Also, as you become more and more experienced, you may even want to try out different flight controllers. These are the PCBs that control the rotors, kind of like a drone's motherboard, that respond differently to control inputs, um, with some sort of more specialized for smooth flying and thus capturing prettier videos, while others might be a bit more challenging to fly, but will allow you to pull off much more impressive maneuvers. So if you're interested in going the DIY route, there's a lot of information available on selecting parts for your particular skill level and needs. But before you jump into it, remember that just like anything else that's fun, there are some rules you have to follow. Both the American and Canadian governments have outlined regulations for flying drones for fun, as they are technically aircraft. These include, but are not limited to, not flying too close to airports, getting the proper certifications if your drone is over a certain weight or size limit, or if you're flying for commercial gain, keeping your drone within sight, not flying near an actual plane, for what we hope are obvious reasons, and this should go without saying, not using your drone to spy on your attractive neighbor or to harass that troll who told you to fight me IRL. Besides, if drone owners start misbehaving too much, how will the drone industry ever get to the point where we get things like quadcopter pizza delivery? Which would be awesome. Mm, drone pizza. Speaking of drone pizza, lynda.com. Lynda.com is one of our favorite partners around here because they're like 
freaking awesome. You learn stuff online and that's like great. In fact, there are people here at Linus Media Group who learned things that they use in their jobs on lynda.com and it's used by millions of people around the world who are also cool and interesting people. Although, you know, Linus Media Group employees are like the best you know, stuff. Anyway, they've got more than 3,000 courses available. Topics like web development, photography, uh, visual design, business, um, video editing. They also have software training for programs like Excel, WordPress, Photoshop, uh, regular, like regular programming, not just like WordPress. All their courses are taught by industry experts with new courses added every week. So whatever it is you're trying to do in your life, you want to, you know, find a new job skill or you want to just, you know, take like better pictures of your cat. I mean, that's important too. You can get a 10-day free trial, which gives you access to every course on lynda.com by lynda.com. And they can teach you to speak, too. Actually, I don't think there's any hope for me. But you can head over to lynda.com slash techquickie and start learning today. You can even use lynda.com on iPhone and Android. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it was just bonkers. And as always, leave a description. Leave a comment under the video if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.